everybody. Obviously, I mixed a couple of the styles together with making the sets, but I hope it was a pretty clear demonstration on um, most of them. And I'm gonna walk you guys through the actual definition of each right about now. Okay, now I'm gonna quickly explain to you guys the different styles of threading. So, we have five that we're going over today. First one being the traditional style. Traditional style of threading is grabbing any part of your body and bring another part of your body through it. Simple, you're never breaking your thread, there's no illusion in it, it's just grab, thread. So whether it's a jump thread, whether it's down here, a basic thread, or here, or on your knee, whatever it is. For it to count as a traditional thread in my opinion, all the rule is, is don't break the thread, okay? I wouldn't call this a traditional thread, okay? Because you're not following those rules. I wouldn't call this a traditional thread either, okay? A tra traditional thread would be here, or would be here. Second one is illusion style. So illusion style to me is anything that tricks someone's mind. So you're breaking basically all the rules that we just set for, with traditional threading, hence it being an illusion thread. So rather than going here, and we're going like this, we're actually gonna just go one direction and then we're gonna trace our hand to match our leg. So I'm going here, boom. Trace, let go, let go. So usually, if you ever break a thread, it's not a thread, which is what puts this in the category of an illusion thread. Going here, trace, boom, 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 boom. So some people say it's not a real thread. To me, it's just a variation of a thread. You could also do it up here in footwork, so if you went Six step, hook, hook, thread. You see? Again, it's not the same thread, but it's an illusion thread. Number three is connection style or connected dots. So the first people I really saw popularize this was Thesis and PA. So props to them for making this a thing. Everyone knows this move, right? Well, this, guess what? This is connection style, baby. So it's connecting a part of your body to another part into your combo, okay? So basically, whatever you're doing, you use one part of your body to take you there. So let's take a traditional thread of this, okay? So if I was doing a connection style, rather than going straight through, maybe I'd go here, and then let go and go here, and then bring that through here. Then, hey, I just made a connection right here. Zoom, like this. So maybe I'll go out like that. Then kick this foot, let go to here. Now, pull it up. Turn around. Arm through. Around and up. Then thread. Pull. Down. In. You see what I'm saying? So again, it's basically just anything here. Using your body to connect to it. Like this. Okay? My pendulum thread. Boom. Zoom. Around. Hit. I do that with using that, that concept. So I go. Zoom, pa, boom, 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 pa. I'm bringing my hand and my leg over by using my leg to actually rotate it over. So if you use the power of your own body, you can get it over and get that illusion-esque connection style. Fourth one we're going over is arm styles or tutting. So this is one that's not used very much, so go use it a little bit more. So we can apply the last three things we just learned into arm styles. So a traditional thread in arm styles would be hook, whoop, or here, here, or here, here, right? Traditional, boom, 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 boom. Basically any position, bring one part through it, okay? Say you want to go from traditional to illusion. Well, how would you do that? Maybe, zoom, pop, I just changed it, right? Or a little bit more simple, this one that I did, pop to here, see? I'm changing it over, but I'm not changing it to that last second, zap, like that. That's where the illusion comes in. Boom, boom. Or do connection style, hit, 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 up, close, in, here, connect. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, number five is the fixed position. This is the most difficult one to do, but it's a fun little game to play with yourself. So fixed position style is basically fixing a part of your body and using it to thread. So we have a hole here. All you gotta do, go up on your fingertips, Pull yourself through it, you just made a thread. 
okay? Or your heel. This is now it, so make it a fixed position wherever you are, and you go through, right? Or around, okay, now you're on your stomach, right here. Fixed position, right here, you pull yourself through it. Thread, so again, play with this because I don't see many people doing it, and I don't see many people doing it really well. So a lot of people do the traditional ones of like that, right? A body thread, but what about a side body thread, like this one? What about going here, right? A lot of people will struggle to actually get their body through, so if you use your fingertips, you have more space, bro. So again, I go, boom, like that, right? And then you can do anything you want from there. So that's another one that you guys should start playing with a little bit more. So the easiest way to identify a traditional thread to a connection thread or an illusion thread is like this. Here to here, traditional, okay? Here, here, if I push this foot to this foot, it's now a connection style, like that. So, connection style, I bring my body to my hand. Illusion style, I bring my hand to my body, okay? So, again, just to clarify that, so traditional, illusion, connection. All right, y'all, that's all. To the hands, oh my God, I caught you. Don't you even worry. That's all for me. I hope you guys learned a little bit of something. I know it's a little bit confusing to wrap your brain around, but if you want any more clarification, let me know, comment down below. If you'd like a full-on tutorial on any of those styles, do let me know. This was just to kind of open your guys' brain on the options and the differences between some of the styles so that you guys can actually play and change up your threading so it's not always the same style of threading. Okay, if you like this video, please like the video. Comment down below to let me know your thoughts inside your heads. Subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button for all the updates. This was your boy, Man's My Needle from Now and Never Crew. Brrrr! Shout out to the Patreons who are supporting me. If you want to support me as well, you can become a Patreon. Every single person helps me to get closer to my goal of creating content full-time online. Ha! Before you go, if you're not completely sick of my face already, don't forget to get my free course, Breaking Made Simple. To access the course, all you have to do is go to the link down below. To get the free download, all you have to do is join the Facebook group, Breaking Made Simple, which is a hub for people to learn, grow, and just get better and become the best b-boys they possibly can, man.